Hi there and welcome to yet another episode. My name is Mary Amondo. I'm in charge of training and career advisory services here at Corporate Staffing Services. And today I am joined by our CEO, Mr. Paminas. We will be mainly discussing a very interesting topic about uh, government jobs versus private sector jobs. And the question I have for you today is, um, what is the difference, first of all, between the government jobs and the private sector jobs? If you look at it at face value, there is no difference. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if, let's say, you are a career, you are a HR, mm -hmm. uh, whether you are working for private sector or government, I mean, you'll be practicing the same skills that you learned. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there can be a bit of a difference, but it's minimal. For example, even a HR working in a manufacturing setup mm -hmm. will not be the same. Uh, HR, you know, there'll be a bit of different skill set if someone is working in a non-profit, an NGO. Mm -hmm. If you're working, let's say, for an airline, it will also be a bit different if you're working for an agriculture or hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. So, but in terms of, at its core, the job that you're doing will really not be that different, Mary. Mm -hmm. However, there are certain things that uh, you need to pay attention to, and this is, this is what makes the difference between, let's say, government jobs and the private sector job. Mm -hmm. And one thing you'll note is that government jobs, they tend to be stable. Mm -hmm. Why? Government, you not just come and declare redundancies in a house. Mm -hmm. Then the second thing people need to understand, and this is what leads to job security, mm -hmm. is that government has the best systems and processes. Mm -hmm. A boss cannot just wake up, maybe they look at you and say, I don't like the way you are smiling, <laughs> or you didn't say hi to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so they can't just terminate you. There's a whole procedure that they have to undertake. Mm -hmm. So the job security is not people, that people like each other very much in mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> it's because there is a system, you know, there are checks and balances, mm -hmm. such that if I'm to let Mary go, have I done A, B, C, D? The due process. The due process, mm -hmm. as opposed to the private sector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... That element of uh, stableness is very attractive to many professionals. Mm -hmm. Because also what you realize is, for a long time people thought that private sector is the best payer, mm -hmm. but government has been bridging the gap. Mm -hmm. So you find nowadays there's not much difference. So mm -hmm. If you're in communication, if you're a digital marketer, mm -hmm. if you're in finance, most likely the pay you get in the private sector mm -hmm. is more or less the same as in government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's also this perception but it's ending where people thought used to think that, oh, uh, if I get a government job, I will just go put my coat you know, behind the desk and I work <laughs> only for two hours. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the case mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. Even in government, we've seen them go into performance management mm -hmm. where also, you know, you're supposed to deliver. Mm -hmm. You know, if, uh, there are certain KPIs that you have to meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but for me, what stands out is that aspect of job security. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having been in the industry for in the space of recruitment as a lead recruiter yeah and uh, also in hr as an hr professional for all these years what would you add what would be your advice or your take in terms of which one is better the government jobs or the yeah. private jobs that's uh, it's a difficult <laughs> question mary mm. and the reason i'm just saying difficult is because th the two have very different cultures mm -hmm. So in private sector, you find it's really performance driven. So I don't I have to like you, Mary, to work <laughs> with you. As long as you're able to deliver results, performance, performance. Mm. it's performance. Mm. Now in government, unfortunately, the, you can deliver, but also you find politics carry the, old, uh, the, order, it's the order of the day. Mm. So there are people who naturally, they like doing their work, they don't care what happens behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So those ones, they may really not do very well in uh, public sector. That's mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. And that is why you've seen there are people, even at the highest level politics, they move to government and they don't, they, they, they can't make it. Or they change and you wonder, is this the person that we knew? Mm -hmm. Because government has the way it operates. Mm -hmm. And you can't change an institution. Mm -hmm. So if you come in from private sector and you want to still bring your private sector behavior, mm -hmm. mannerism, <laughs> it will be very hard for you to change that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's also the reverse. Mm -hmm. If you're coming from government, there's a way, the culture of government, and if you take it to the private sector, mm -hmm. it may also not work. Mm -hmm. So like you said, um, it's you being self-aware, looking at the two different environment and asking yourself what's required of me mm -hmm. and then seeing will this work for me and can I 
I, can I be able to adapt mm -hmm. if I need to change? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that way you can be able to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I believe also it's it's key to someone really get to know what to understand the language that uh, operates in those sectors. Like you've mentioned in the private sector, it's more about profit and revenue. Yes. So are you profit and revenue driven? Precisely. Or for you, it's more on service delivery. Exactly. Then you can thrive more in yes. the government space. Yeah. Great. For example, now look at the bureaucracy. Uh, in the service industry, uh, you could bring me a quotation. So long as it makes sense, mm -hmm. I'll sign off the same day or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But government, I've heard of, I know professionals who move to government and they tell me, Paminas, this document has taken one week in someone's desk and all they need is an approval. Mm -hmm. It's gone through all this process. I can't be able to move because this person hasn't signed. Maybe they went, uh, they're out of town or even they're in the office, but the other things, you know, and that aspect you said of service delivery, government, they, they, the profit aspect is it's, it's the least of their worries. Mm. It's yeah, minimal. it's very minimal. Mm. So if you are there and uh, such bureaucracy, you know, makes you anxious, you feel that, you know, you're not having an impact, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Mm. Thank you very much for those great insights. I believe you have learned one or two things from there. So the decision fully lies with you in terms of the sector you'd want to thrive more in. But... Uh, for more of such valuable insights, we encourage you to click on the link below. You can equally register your CV with us so that uh, you get more tips, more advice uh, with regards to your career growth or advancement. We're looking forward to having you again in our next video.